Hello, my friends. Welcome to our four o'clock live broadcast. And we're here to help you master prospecting and recruiting on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on just about all of the social networks. But Facebook and LinkedIn are the two best. Two best. And if you're not on LinkedIn, you, my friends, are missing the boat. Because there are people on LinkedIn right now that want to talk to you. Well, LinkedIn closed the account of this person after he sent this message to hundreds of people. Hundreds. By any chance, would you be interested in taking a look at the largest online shopping club in North America currently? The company has a very generous promotion right now, and they're allowing brand new members to get a one-year membership for a dollar. And they're giving all brand new members $100 in free products as well. <clears throat> Most people that join simply join to become shoppers, but sometimes people join to make some supplemental monthly income. If you're interested in either option, please let me know ASAP. You can shoot me a text or a call whenever it's convenient for you. Puts their phone number in here. Sent this out on LinkedIn to hundreds of people. And then one morning he got up and he tried to get into his LinkedIn account and it was over. It was gone. Doesn't matter what business you're promoting. It doesn't matter what business you're selling. Now, you all know what company this is if you're in it. You got thousands thousands of people in your company that are doing this kind of garbage which is another reason why you don't want to have anything on your profile about your business but linkedin is making some changes they're making it easier for people to complain and after a bit when enough people start sending the same message linkedin picks it up as a spam message and it doesn't even make it out now linkedin is going to become your favorite social network you can build your business on linkedin and facebook in an hour a day but no one says you have to stop in an hour but you need to be on linkedin our profile checklist and profile guide will give you 12 steps to maximum profile visibility Increased engagement and immediate results. Immediate results. That 12 steps you take with the universal profile checklist results in 19 actions that will enable you to start conversations with anybody. Conversations that result in new enrollments. Now, there is no faster way for you to use Facebook or LinkedIn to build your business and what I'm sharing with you. Not if there was an easier way, somebody came up with it. Hey, I, I'd be teaching it. All right. So instead of making a list of the people that you know, instead of getting your new recruits to make a list and go out and approach their warm market contacts and get shut down. And this is what happens. As a result, the sales cliche, you gotta go through a hundred no's to get a yes. Every no is one step closer to a yes. But whoever's teaching that doesn't understand the power of social media. Because you know so much about the other person. What you write on your profile, positions you to be the person that your ideal prospect would want to talk to. And that's all it takes. So instead of calling Mary up that you haven't talked to Mary in 15 years, you know, Mary's a nurse. You call Mary up, Mary, it's, you know, we haven't talked in a while. I 
one of the, how have you been well? And then you hit her with the business and you get it. The conversation goes to hell in a handbasket. Network marketers hate that approach. But that's what the upline says is what you got to do. You got to call your warm market. Better way. You're already connected to people on LinkedIn. You're already connected on Facebook that constitute your warm market. So do something noticeable on Facebook. Change your picture. Only now Mary comes to you. The same Mary that you would call that would shoot you down when you bring up the your business opportunity. So Mary likes your picture. You come back to Mary, I'm glad you're like my picture. You know, we haven't talked for a number of years. You know, what's what's new in your world? What's what's happening? Let Mary come back and tell you she's got a problem. Man, I'm looking for a way to make some extra money. Or maybe Mary doesn't have any problems. She tells you what she does, and then she's going to come back 85% of the time, and she's going to ask you what you do. Your answer can make her curious. Well, what do I do? Um, uh, I've been teaching school for the last 10 years. But now, thanks to my fast-growing internet business, I'm going to be retiring from teaching at the end of the year. Then you ask Mary a question. Mary's going to want to know about the internet business. The dynamics of the conversation change. So you show Mary your business, and she gets in. Next, you help Mary open up her settings, make her visible, more visible. And then you have Mary change her picture. What happens? A couple of people she's connected to react and respond. Same thing. It's not what works in network marketing. It's what duplicates. This duplicates. Craig opened up his settings. Added some things to his profile made himself self more visible. This is what happened. Greg, is that you? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Would you share with everybody what, what happened? Well, yes. Uh, to be honest, I really thought that uh, this was just a lot of hype. <laughs> I really did, but I said, well, I'll go ahead and try it anyway. So uh, well, you got my uh, Facebook uh, profile cover and changed my picture, took some things off, and and to my surprise, I got uh, immediately after that six friend requests from qualified prospects. It was really amazing professional people. Got one request from the vice president of the Yamaha Corporation that I used to work with, and it was amazing on that. I got many new people and old people commenting on my new profile page, and I I've never had that before. They like the profile page. I got two people asking me to join my internet business. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, they just sent a message and said, uh, uh, Craig, uh, can I join your uh, internet business? The reason why they never knew I had an internet business. You know, uh, I said that I was a uh, music education director and, you know, I was a wellness educator and that's it. And then uh, when you went in and changed my header in LinkedIn and changed my intro in Facebook, then it just blew up like crazy. Now, I do have now 4,400 people, and it's just going like crazy. And I love it when I never had people to just come in and ask, may I join your internet business? And I never talked to them before about it. But because my Facebook profile page uh, said that, then whenever they click, my introduction or my header show every time. And one guy said, well, I'm so happy to see all the things that you do. So on all my things that are listed on my header and in my intro, I'm getting responses on all of those. It's just amazing. I never knew something like that would even exist. So here's what's happening on Facebook, on LinkedIn. 
You've been on there for a while. Your friends see what you do. Your family sees what you do. And then all of a sudden, your actions change. Your posts change. And your friends come back. And now they're getting curious. What's up with you? Why are you making these posts? What are you doing now? Here's another textbook example. Yeah, so I had uh, I had been just kind of trusting Max and going step by step through the process. And uh, to be honest, I had this little voice in the back of my head that was saying, ah, this isn't going to work. What are you thinking? <laughs> but uh, I decided to trust and move forward with the process anyway. And then uh, all of a sudden, just with this profile that you're seeing now, uh, one of my friends that I used to be in another network marketing company with, uh, he, he, just, he like, first of all, he sent me a message, a LinkedIn message, and I guess I didn't see it quick enough. He was so excited to talk to me that he actually picked up the phone uh, within a cu couple hours later. And he said, what are you doing, Lane? What are you doing? And then we had a phone, you know, we had a conversation and uh, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm with this new company. And uh, next thing you know, within 24 hours, he's, he's now on my team. So I was pretty excited. Now, every one of you is head down the same road. You all have great, easy access to people. I am going to flip over here. Now, we're currently engaged in our September boot camp. We have our second session of boot camp tomorrow night. So first, let's go over here on LinkedIn and let's bring up Andrew. I'm just gonna work my way down the list. Okay, now Andrew's paying for the service. You can see he's online, and folks, whether he's logged in or not, doesn't matter. The bottom line is you can literally have this green dot on 24-7, even when you're sleeping. Now, I'm looking at your profile, and I can see the number of followers you have. And what that says, if I can see your followers, it means you don't have the connect button on. You have a follow me button, which is not in your best interest. Okay, so let me unmute Andrew. Now, Andrew has been a student for a long time. Yeah, hi, Max. How are you, Andrew? How you been? Good. Good. Thanks. Getting better all the time. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't hear that last part. So I'm getting better all the time. Okay. That's what that's that's what it's all about. And I'm here to keep you going and moving in the right direction. Now, what's happening with LinkedIn is LinkedIn, you know, they want everybody to pay for the service. You're paying for the service. But you're not going to continue to pay for the service if all you get are promotional messages from people in companies blasting out the same thing that uh, you know I use as an example. Okay, now everything is changing. It's not the same. March last year, when you first went into one of my boot camps, a lot of things have changed, and one of the things that is making LinkedIn change is the bad actions of all of these marketers that are just jumping on here. And uh, just blasting stuff out. Okay. So now,
So you've got a an interesting background. And yeah. Okay. Um, now, one of the things that you want to do, the first four lines in the about section show up. So, you want those to be the first things okay. that you want. Okay. You, you, we don't have to go all the way back to 1970. This is something that you would do on. Um, Facebook where you're telling your story. You want to continue to tell your story, but the first thing that people should see is, you know, I have a passion for helping people. I've had a number of successful business over the years. And uh, You know, I figured out how to make money on the internet. Okay. So that's going to make people curious. Now, so this is the business that you have. Now, you've been doing this for 10 years. So is that all targeted local marketing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And so, what do you? What's the? What What does this business do? What target of local marketing? Yeah. That was the business that helped brick and mortar companies advertise online. Um, yeah, I was into a lot of things with video and uh, uh, basically just uh, media advertising. Okay. So what you want to do here, again, it's a person's perception. Everything that they see helps them form an opinion of you. So you're not doing this anymore. But what I would do is I would change the name to let me see if I can pull the words out of what you wrote here. Talk. Okay, so you want to give it a name like um, I'm just throwing this out. Okay. I'm, I'm taking notes here, man. Okay. So you call it something like bull, bullseye, like B U L L S, bullseye. Marketing, bullseye marketing. Bullseye marketing. Okay, so here you help brick and mortar businesses market, reach their target audience. Yep. Okay, so you're letting people. Okay, and you are. Yes, you're the owner, but you, you're you're the founder. You started this company. You're you're the CEO. You're the president. 
And what that says to people is you clearly know some, and you can leave some of these things like reputation management, blah, blah, blah. One, two lines the most. Now down here, what was H.L. Blanchard? Blanchard is a chemical company. A chemical company? Yeah, so uh, the, the, they had a metal working division that, um, that manufactures uh, lube for um, heavy stamping for the automotive industry. And uh, they installed recycling equipment. My job was to service the recycling equipment. Okay. So, how'd you come up with the name H.L. Blanch Blanchard? Well, that's the name of the company. Ah. I was under contract to that company. Okay. And so, what were you doing for them? I was, uh, I'd have to go to the stamping plants, a lot of the magna plants, and, uh, and the big three, like Chrysler and uh, Ford, etc. And um, service their recycling equipment that uses Blatchford's chemicals. What would you say your job title would have been? Uh, probably chemical technician. Okay. So you were doing that while you had your marketing business yeah okay yeah i was uh it's pretty much it was pretty much a part-time thing okay and so, day, so. so here you're working for blanchard yep. and, you, and you got bullseye marketing here right and then in december 2020 you started this now what is this your network marketing uh, enterprise yes. yeah Okay. And uh, what company are you building? Um, my first choice is Mamaluka. Okay. Now, by the way, I, if, if you're building a Mamaluka business, then you would have recognized that. Oh, yeah, the one at the beginning? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I got to tell you something it, it is the kiss of death. <laughs> when you follow people like that, all right? So now, personal life enhancement. Um, is not going to make people curious okay. about what you're doing. Helping individuals improve their lives and reach their goals through self-development, personal coaching, and mentoring. Um, you need a different name. You're looking for business builders. You're looking for people that want more than they currently have. So you want to come up with a name, something like the Worldwide Wealth Building Network. Okay. Or the WWVN, and you're the founder, you're the president, you're the CEO. So you change that and you put under, instead of starting in December of 2020, started in September, and that's going to give you an anniversary. Uh -huh. And so people see that on your profile. then it kind of, everything kind of makes more sense. So personal life enhancement is not gonna make people as curious as the worldwide wealth building network or whatever it is we called it. No. That's going to make a world of difference. 
Now, another thing. You have your education here. And you could actually have one of these show up on your profile underneath the name of your company. Okay, so you've been with Mal Lucas since last year, whoops, since December. All right, so what level are you now? Direct uh, I, really, I haven't really started. I've been a customer since 2007. Okay. Okay. So everybody's got a story. Yep. You've been a customer since 2007. You love the product. Everybody that gets on the products loves it. And now you have decided to build the business because right. now the company is more social media oriented. Yeah, that was a big challenge before. I had so many uh, restrictions on what you could and couldn't do. Yeah. Now it's a race. Yeah. Now you got 860 million professionals on there, but you got that nut job. And he's not <laughs> alone. He's not alone. Okay. Right. I can. I can show all, I may do it tomorrow night in boot camp. I can show you eight examples of what Maluga distributors are doing on LinkedIn. And and this, if, this is exactly what Maluga doesn't want. But I know, I know. Well, that's the reason that they they kept people off social media, but there's nothing on that that says anything about Maluga. Right. Okay. Right. You, you, Prime America does the same thing. Amway does the same thing. There are a number of companies that distributors are running them up and they're blasting stuff out there and it's giving network marketing a bad image, a bad, putting a bad perception in the minds of the public. So at the end of the day, you should be taught and, and, and you, again you need to go in there and change your your settings because for people that are not in your network what they're looking at is they're looking at um a, a, not a connect one in fact let me do this i'm going to log out on my account I'm going to jump back in here and uh, Let me come over here and we're going to jump into make sure I got the right one. I'm going to jump into Dennis's account. Okay, now, let's go to Dennis's settings, okay? And uh, where you're having a problem, all right, is if we go to visibility. Okay. And you scroll down to here, visibility on LinkedIn followers. So you've got make follow primary turned on. You need to go in there and turn it off. 
turn it off. Yeah, okay, let me turn it on and off. Yeah, because what that does, here, let me, let, before you do that, let me come back. Let's see profile. I'm going to look you up. Okay, so here's your profile. All right, view full profile. You got to follow me button. All right. I want a connect button. You want, you exactly. You want the connect button. But th this is not helping you at all. Okay. All righty. You change that. You make a couple of other changes like that. And you're good to go. Okay. Uh, now, Dennis, what I'd like you to do before... Uh, we have our coaching session is well, you, oh, you want to come over here to sales navigator and you want sales navigator core okay if we look at all the plans sales navigator yeah why do we want sales navigator because you're going to be able to see who viewed your profile for the last 90 days. You got unlimited people browsing. You got the advanced lead search. And you've got the open profile. You are never going to use any of their in-mails. It's not the way you're going to communicate with people. So start a free month. And when you go to do that, just be careful because the default setting is going to have you paying for it for a year. Yep. Make sure you check off monthly. Now you're going to get it for a month for free. Okay. So seven days before October the 12th, they're going to send you a note before they want to charge you $119 and they're raising the price. So what you want to do is when you get that notice that the trial is almost over, Cancel it. Cancel it. And what's going to happen is they will come back and they'll offer you a month or two at half price. But during our time together, um, Dennis, we're going to beat it up. There are certain things about Sales Navigator that will save you time. Okay. okay. So we're going to do one other thing. Let's come back over to Dennis's profile. Now, let me unmute Dennis for a second. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm actually, um, I just signed up for Sales Navigator just the other day. Just yeah. Hey, Max, I'm here loud and clear. Okay, good. So, I, like I told you, I just wanted to sneak in a little thing. This thing, you know, a sales rep, were you just a sales rep? Or did you have a region or what was your title? Oh, for me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was a, I was the manufacturer's rep for Arizona, New Mexico, and El Paso. You know what the best view of El Paso is, Max? <laughs> the rear view mirror. You know, when I, I, I went to college at the University of Arizona. Yeah, yeah, you're used to Tucson, exactly. But, and, and so what happened was, and you, you know, you're coming up from Florida. You got to drive through Texas. Oh my God, that takes forever. Right. Well, you know, Florida, if you Southeast Florida, uh, up the state, and then of course the Panhandle, it's almost as bad as Texas, but not quite. Yeah, but, exactly. Well, well, we used to, we used to, we used to talk about El Paso as we love El Paso because when you get to El Paso, you're almost out of Texas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's the end of the Texas line. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 
So what you want to do here, again, this is all perception. So we're going to come down here. And instead of being a sales rep, we're going to say, um, Yeah, because they really on their website, Max, they gave me the whole state of Texas, but I only I only work El Paso. Okay. So then what we what we could say here is we could just say regional. Southwest then, regional. Well, we if we say regional, I mean it can include Arizona, it can include yeah. Texas. So we're gonna yeah, say regional sales manager. Or better yet, director. There we go. All right. So what this does, again, it's all about perception. Right. Exactly. So what we're doing here is you are a regional sales director. And then you founded this other company. And we're going to get into that a little bit. Um, from the stand, we want to give it a, a little bit of a different name, but yeah. then, but this is what you're doing now. And what this does is it's all about stories, right? So what we want to start doing is we want to start posting things that make people curious about what you do. So now if we come up here to your homepage, in order to post things, you you're gonna be posting things that are saved on your computer. So we're gonna post a, a photo and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna come up with about 25 or 30 different images or different messages that you can post okay i'm going to come over here to motivational covers and the one that we're looking for if you don't build your dream someone else will hire you to help them build theirs Love it. Okay, and we're going to put this up every day. Every day, we're going to put something up here. Okay. And we want to make sure everybody can see it and comment on it. And this makes you what they call an influencer. Right, exactly. Okay, now, uh, what, what I'm going to do, by the way, um, JD is also uh, just jumped into my coaching program. Oh, they got to contact, they got to contact me, you got a hold of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. To, between the two of you, you're going to kill it. And and he, he brought up... Uh, uh, you know, he, he told me the four countries that you, you guys are working in and uh, showed me a little bit. So it's a big world and uh, we're going to show you how. So you're going to be able to build your business in Australia, um, the United States, uh, Canada and the UK. Those are, the, I think, the four countries. That he mentioned. Yeah, France and Philippines. Oh, Philippines is already on board, but France is coming next, I heard. Right. So we're going to show you how to find people in France. But another thing, there are uh, a big company just pulled out of the Philippines. And uh, what you're going to be able to do is go into the Philippines 
and look for distributors in that company. That just bailed. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. you know, they're, they're looking for something else to do, and it's in a totally different field. But, I mean, what you're marketing and promoting works for everybody. You don't, it, it doesn't matter if you're not, you're not in health and wellness. Yeah, everybody exactly. That drives a car. So let me um, continue this. Let me move down, pop out of your account. Uh, uh, we'll uh, reach out to you uh, either later today or tomorrow and get you set up for um, our first co coaching session. Let me come over here now. Let me come back. Okay, so let's come up here and take a look at Brian. And uh, Uh, so, Brian, you can put your birthday in there. Whoops. Oops. Okay, now. Let me unmute Brian. All right, so now can you hear me now? Now I can, Brian. So um You've been in real estate appraising for a long time, but um, what do you call your appraisal business? Uh, the name of the appraisal business is Appraisal Time. Okay, so you need to have a separate entity. Okay, you've got this one, International Wealth Building Network. That's your network marketing business. You want to have a set another business for, for the appraisal, appraisal time. Yeah, appraisal. see what happened with that one is uh, you're seeing June 1996 to the present. Um, I went in over the weekend looking at last month's um, video that you had for your boot camp, and I made a few changes. And apparently, it took appraisal time off of the top. I was trying to. Uh, that's why you still have the explanation that says at appraisal time, I perform all aspects of appraisal process from scheduling to inspect, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so it got a little mixed up. So I do need to correct that. And I, I, yeah. I know that. Uh, absolutely. Okay. And, and then what you could do, and this represents your network marketing business. So what would be the dates for that? That the network marketing business would be probably, we could call it a uh, September 2019 uh, to go. the to the present. There you go. So you get that taken care of, and um, you're and you're good to go. So we're tomorrow night. We're going to be getting into uh, connecting with people. Let me come over here and bring up uh,
Ja, Joel is in South Africa. Okay. And we come down here. So excellent, excellent, excellent. You did a great job. Okay. So you're a high school teacher for various schools. Excellent. All right, let me come back over here. Again, this is where, where you have to live the life you deserve. It's your headline. You really want to change that up. Health. You need to capitalize wealth. And, you know, if you're self-employed, you don't need self-employed, self-employed. If this is your own business, you're the founder. You're the CEO. Let me... Uh, Come back over here. Let me unmute Roland. Hey, Max. Hey, Roland. I'm just checking in with you. How is everything going? Oh, we're we're cruising. Good. Good. You all are going to hear a lot, you know, Ro let me just, Roland is positioning himself as, you know, who he really is. He's had a number of successful companies. And so this positions him to go out and talk to people. And we, we're going to be using some of his conversations as examples because he's real you know we give you the script and you want to modify them a little bit to fit the people that you're talking to and and uh you know i well i told you this before rowan you, you you're doing just a great job of uh just you know how to talk to people and that's what it's all about it's all about you talking to people so uh when's our next coaching session i uh, do not know if you'll let me know i'd love to put it on my calendar all right i'll i'll uh, uh get a hold of uh, casey and and uh we'll make sure you have one this week awesome thank you okay so coming down here a little bit more Let's look at, let me look in the, okay, so let me pop out of my account. And let me jump into P.
And Peter, what's your what's the email address? I guess I'm muted here. One at email, Tino one. What is it? Tino one. Tino one. And as in Nancy? Yeah. No, T T T N O T E one. No, P as in Peter. P as in Peter. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. P as in Peter. N O T E. Look at that. There you go. All right, the camera. Okay. All right, now. Come over here to the message. And you're talking to Emilio. Okay. So you're talking to Emilio, who is actively looking for an opportunity. And we come down here. So according to this, if you look at his entire, you always want to look at the entire work history, start at the bottom. So he was involved with investments for a year and a half. D trade, a little over two years. So he was involved in finance, regional supervisory officer. And he comes down to being a consultant. Associate director. And his work experience ends here. So he's looking for an opportunity. So you reach out, you ask him, what do you do? He doesn't answer. So you really haven't really started a conversation with the guy. Now, actively looking for an opportunity. If you reached out to him, we have a script, which you, you, you know, you didn't follow, but we want to get the person talking. That's the whole purpose of this. Have you found a job yet? Thanks. If you want to get 
a conversation going, you have to focus on the other person and you got to ask them a question that is easy for them to answer, but you want to ask them a question that they would want to answer. So first, today's Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Every Monday, it's an easy way to start a conversation. I just wasn't sure where to go because I asked them the question a couple of times. Well, the first question, remember this, if they don't answer your question, you got to figure out another way to ask it again. So we're going to come down here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Pam Collin. Press a resume. Now, let's come down here. Northwestern Mutual is a big company. JP Morgan Chase, another big company. Now, Okay, that's all we have to say. Now, what have you been doing for work? Now he's got that's Merrill's Merrill Lynch. You got to ask them questions. You want to make it easy for them to respond. But you got to get the conversation going. Let's come back over here. And let's look at Dwayne. All right, so let's see who you're talking to. A 
teacher. I remember we're looking for people that clearly show an opportunity. So he's been a teacher for 18 years. Well, longer than that. Seventeen years. How long have you been on LinkedIn and how's it working for you? Didn't answer. Now, Now you're using a variation of the project launch script, which is incredibly effective when you use it with the right person. But he says here, I don't have time for gimmicks, multi-level, anything of that nature, but I do want to hear more about it. It's Why are you getting this? Because I didn't find the experience in network marketing. I'm sorry? Because I didn't experience in network marketing. Well, yeah, well, I know that. But you see, here's the thing. You need to know a lot more. When I say a lot more, you need to know more about the person before you use that script. You, you, you only want to use it with somebody that has a clear and obvious need. And we don't see that on his profile. Now there's still the fact that he's just been a school teacher for as long as he's been a school teacher. We know that school teachers generally get into some kind of a side business. But what you did here is comparable to what I started the session with today. <laughs> wow. Okay. Because look at the answer you got. I don't have time for gimmicks, multi-level marketing, or anything of that nature, but I do want to hear more about it. Well, except that he'd like to hear more about it because the way we phrased it. But You have to know what his background in network marketing is. So uh, what we have to do is we have to circle back and, and say, Dwayne, I don't have time for gimmicks. And uh, if I didn't think that based on all of your education and teaching experience, you wouldn't be very successful at what I'm about, what we do. I wouldn't be talking to you. But, but I'm curious. Okay, I'm curious. Um, what I'm curious about your comment about network marketing okay what what experience do you have in network marketing what's your experience you want to find out what his experience you know as or we could come back and we could say um something to the effect that
No, we have to go that route. It's not a gimmick. I don't have time for gimmicks. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the question has to be, what is your what is your experience with network marketing? Okay, I'd like to tell you all about it, but first I need to know, you know, what your experience in network marketing is. You have to know. Uh, otherwise, you're you're wasting your time, and you don't have time to waste. There are too many people out there right now that would jump into your business, including him. But you have to know what his experience in network marketing is. How long ago was it? I'm not surprised, Dwayne, that you got a negative attitude about network marketing. I'm not surprised. Most of the people, most of the teachers that I work with have all had negative feelings with network marketing. And that, okay, let's do one more. You know what's funny is that based on your message, I okay. I I had a discussion with a prospect. that suddenly stopped. So let me unmute Su Susanna. Susanna, what was the person's name? Tunisia, Tunisia Sharma. How do you spell, oh, this one right here. Yeah, this one. I thought we were doing very well and then something happened and um uh... okay. all right so so she's um a homeopath like me but she's new and she doesn't really have a lot of clients and she doesn't have an extra job. And she started, you know, I had a whole discussion with her. Yeah, let's see. Which was there, yeah. Well, when you copied this in there, you didn't, you missed part of the message. But 
Here, I'll back to you. Yeah. Yeah, we've been talking for about a week, 10 days. And then I told her a little bit about, you know, general things and Yeah, I asked her quite a few questions. Okay. So that's her. She's Indian. Although at some point she said, yes, sir. And I couldn't understand why she called me sir, although I'm obviously a woman. I'm learning accounting too. Well, one of the things you want to ask open-ended questions. So open-ended questions start with the words who, what, when, where, how, and why. Do you work, do you do any other work? That can be answered mm. with a yes or a no. Mm. So she's learning accounting. Mm. So I tell her a little bit about quite a bit about myself. And then I talk her about the other service and she comes back to, to find out more about it. In the next one. This is about me more or less. And then I sent her also my diary, and that, and she never comes back to me. Well, and I wonder whether she didn't actually want to meet me on Zoom whether she wanted more of the information, you know, with me sending well, well, yeah, but see, here's the thing. Would you like to know more about this? So here you're describing, this is, this is why, this is why she didn't come back to you. Okay, now, So you got to remember something mm. that while, while you're talking to these people, mm. you got, you got those, you're not the only person in your company that's yeah. reaching out to people like her. Mm. So how many messages does she, is she getting from other people that are hitting her right out of the gate? Now there is a simple, you told her too much. Mm, I told her too much. You know what? There's a simple system that does not involve you selling anything or getting an income stream by recommending them. Would you like to find out more? So she says, yes, please. And then she starts thinking about it. And you could never get her to respond. As a matter of fact, this is a monologue from here on. And uh, Well, at least she's still connected to you. You got to do it a little bit at a time. And anytime people stop responding to you, you're lucky she didn't unfriend you. But mm. you want to, you're talking to somebody, you, they want to know about the business you want. If it was going to cost you $500, every time you gave somebody a link to your website, there's certain things that you want to know. One of them being what experience, you know, what do you know about network marketing? 
what experience have you had with network marketing? Don't, don't be afraid of that question. And if somebody mm -hmm. comes back and says to you, uh, I'm interested in some making some extra income, but I'm not interested if it's one of those multi-level things. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Then you want to come back and say, really? Um, you know, I'm curious. Mm. Uh, mult and, and again, I'm not, I would come, look, Bill, I'm not trying to sell you anything. But I'm really curious about that comment you made. Mm. So I I know a lot of people that have made that are very successful and have made a lot of money in MLM. Mm. Uh, I'm curious what your experience has been. Yeah. What what companies have you worked with? How long ago was yeah. it? Why do you think you aren't successful? Mm. You know, every time, Bill, I run into somebody that has a negative attitude about network marketing, and I'm not saying it's not undeserved, but anytime I run into somebody that has a negative attitude about network marketing, mm. I find that they have had a number, a bad experience, or a number of bad experiences. Hmm. So I'm curious, what were, what were yours? So uh, what about this woman? Because I, she didn't respond, although I sent her my diary to make an appointment, but she didn't respond. Is, it, well, is that the end? No. It's, it, what, what you have to do is you want to try to restart the conversation. Hmm. Listen, people get busy. Hmm. You know, things happen. Maybe your husband was hit by a truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yet you have no idea what people are doing. You can come over here, look at her activity. So this was three weeks ago. Mm. Did she post anything? Or well, this was three months ago. So she's not very active on here. Okay, so what you want to do is you you want to I can ask her about what kind of clients. No, no, no. Here's what you do. Come over here. Hmm. All right, and what we're gonna do. What we're going to do first send her a motivational thing. We're going to send it at. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to send her that. And mm. we're not going to ask her a question. Yeah. Just going to send that over. Yeah. Give it th three or four days. Send mm. her another one. Send and another motivational thing again. Yes. And then the next question you want to ask mm. is not about the calendar. Okay, this was in, say I would love to, but the timing doesn't suit me. Now, the timing doesn't suit me. Mm. Okay, now, what does she mean by the timing? Yeah, exactly. What does she mean, the time of the appointment or the time in general? 
Well, you don't know then. No. So what happened here is you're in too much of a hurry. Yeah. Too, too much of a rush. Yes, true. Okay. It doesn't work that way. No. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, you're right, Max. So, you know, when do you have some free time? And she never, she never comes back and tells you when she has free time. And yet here we go, boom, boom, boom. Here's my calendar. Mm. It doesn't sue me. You're going down a, a road, you're going down the wrong road. Mm. Yeah. Um, so try the motivational message, get it, you can get, get it back on track. Mm -hmm. But again, you have to assume, I mean, there are easy ways to have conversations and you're doing it the hard way. Yeah. I see all my mistakes now. You're doing it the hard way. And there's an easy way. There's a hard way. Let, let, let's all do it the easy way. I am giving all of you scripts and a strategy that can have you talking to Dozens of people every single day. And yet, you're not using it. In our second sec 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 uh, session of boot camp, we talk about if you wanted to cook a key lime pie, you could go on the internet you could find a recipe for the world's finest key lime pie. But if you don't follow the steps, if you don't put in the precise ingredients at the precise times, what's coming out of that is not going to be pretty. Communicating with people, talking to people is not hard. Once you learn to dance, it's easy. Once you learn to dance, it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. But you have to be talking to the right people at the right time, saying the right things. Tonight, I'll be back at uh, 10 o'clock. We'll have one more ES Max session. Boot camp is tomorrow night. There's still an opportunity for you to register for boot camp. And... Uh, If there's anybody that is interested in my coaching program, please type your phone number and coaching in the chat window and uh, one of my staff members will reach out to you. So until next time, best of luck in building your business and God bless.